use time. Hey guys, welcome to Brick Vault. This is Mike and welcome to the weekly news update. So much stuff happened. A new theme, new sets, new ideas and new stuff in a web store. Let's just jump into it. And just before we jump into that pile of news, you guys, we have the new build in our web store, the Balrog from Lord of the Rings, designed by Aaron Newman. And I gotta say that is quite an unusual mock in our lineup right now, being stuck to mostly Star Wars ships and other mechanical builds. Now we have some more organic, or should I say demonic creature in the web store. Jack prepared a full video on the build if you wanna check out all the details. The link to our web store is right below. If you wanna support us, that's awesome. You support our channel here and also the designers that we work with to build those amazing mocks. On to the news, LEGO revealed a new upcoming theme, this one is coming in August 2019 and is called The Hidden Side. Now I do not know why but the first impression I had after hearing that name was Stranger Things, maybe because LEGO teased that with some sort of uh, alternate reality being seen through an app or your phone screen. And that is pretty much what the theme is. It's gonna be a Lego set theme uh, powered up with augmented reality application which will make the builds come alive and uh, provide some additional features. When it comes to the theme itself, it's something between Monster Fighters, Scooby-Doo and Lego Dimensions. Uh, I think Monster Fighters is the closest resemblance. And I'm sure many fans loved that not forgotten theme and wish for that to come back, so I guess the hidden side will be the closest thing to it. The sets will be publicly revealed during the New York Toy Fair, which is happening right now, so they may have been revealed as I'm talking to you guys after publishing this video. But some pictures were released beforehand as I was recording it, and the brickfan.com Alan Tran provided some of the additional information about the pieces and the prices. So we know that we have 8 sets in total, ranging from set number 70418 to 70425. I'm gonna go through them real quick, that's the Lab, 174 pieces for 20 bucks, Boat, uh, 310 pieces for 30 bucks, Graveyard, 335 pieces for 30 bucks, Truck, 428 pieces for 40 bucks, Diner, 598 pieces for 50 dollars, Bus, 689 pieces for 60 dollars, Train, 698 pieces for $90. I think there is a typo. I think that's gonna be like 900 pieces for that price. And the last one, the biggest, is High School, 1478 pieces for $130. Again, the pictures for all these sets may be available right now as you're watching this, so make sure to check out websites like the Brick Fan or the Brick Set to get the latest information. Personally, I think it's a pretty awesome concept. It's gonna introduce some additional features for the play with the sets, and that is also a ground for some amazing collection of minifigures that should hopefully replace the monster fighters in our hearts. Everything will be happening in August 2000. 19. The Ideas Flintstones set was officially revealed, that is set number 21316, the Flintstones ages 10 plus 748 pieces, US price is $60, Canadian price is uh, 80 Canadian dollars. Germany has the set for 60 euro, UK 55 pounds, France 60 euro, Denmark 549 Danish crowns, and Australia will be having the set for 100 Australian dollars. And let's yabba dabba do to this set for a second. We have Fred, Barney, Wilma, and Betty as four minifigures in the set. I'm kind of missing Dino. He was one of my favorite characters from the show and from the childhood. And I think Lego Easter egged this one a bit because if you look at the TV in the set, it says that Dino is missing. That is, if I remember correctly, an arc of a story um, between like few episodes or one episode that Dino went missing and they had to find it. So good try on getting yourself out of not including this guy in this set. Anyhow, the set gives you the Bedrock House and also the Flintstones foot car. I used to call it the Flintmobile, I don't know why. It's a really neat small set, there is some interior, actually only one room if you look closely. Barney has some bowling accessories, there is the couch, the coffee table and also the TV with the mentioned Dino is missing uh, sticker, I think. Or that's gonna be maybe a print. We also get a mailbox, a coconut palm to the side and I do not know about you but I'm actually missing the bed rock population city entry sign that was shown in many episodes in the intro. The set will be available in the Lego stores starting March, there is no official word if it's gonna be March 1st or later, but usually ideas sets were launched on the 1st of the month. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this set, I think it's a great addition to the likes of the small idea sets like the quite popular Big Bang Theory from the past or the latest Tron sets, the small ones are always the cutest and I think Flintstones will just fit in. Lego Movie 2 is receiving 3 additional sets this summer, 4 actually if you include the Excelsior, and now we have the pictures for the remaining 3. 
we have the 70842 Emmet triple decker couch mac. This one is a two in one build, includes Emmet, Sweet Mayhem, and a startled Unikitty, or Warrior Kitty, should I say. This one is my favorite from that set. And that mac makes an appearance in the movie, and it's actually pretty awesome. I was looking forward to that set, and now here it is. The next one here is the 70837 Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa, that's four S's in the name. This one has this guy from the Twilight. I mean, oops, that's Balthazar, that's his name in the movie. Anyway, I liked this joke a lot with the character. Also, we have Flaminga, Lucy, Unikitty, Benny with her new face, 8 and Archimedes. That's a lot of characters and the build is quite fun with a lot of transparent elements. The big one is 70838 Queen Whatever's So Not Evil Space Palace. The biggest set includes the Queen, Batman in his um, bachelor outfit, I think. Many people notice that he does not have the fluffy cape from the movie, which is a bummer. There is the Ice Cream Cone, Celesti, Royal Guard, Stars and Hearts with new face expressions. The set looks quite odd, but quite original at the same time. And I should have also mentioned the prices, this big one is gonna go for $100, the spa set will be for $70, and the 2-in-1 couch mech will be costing $30. And there is also a rumor that the last one will be only available in Target stores in the US, but it's not confirmed yet. This next bit of news just came in on Friday, uh, before New York Toy Fair, LEGO has announced four additional sets for the Jurassic World. These are in connection to the Jurassic World Legend of Isla Nublar, a new series that will be airing in 2019, and this is a follow-up to the previously shown series, the Jurassic World The Secret Exhibit. I think the sets are pretty awesome, but here is what Jack and Ramon have to say about it when they saw these sets. There you go. Dude, the popcorn stand is in the shape of a mouth, dude, that's awesome. Got a hat stand. That's that's probably one of the coolest taller oh, wow. dinosaur molds. The Jeep actually looks pretty good too. And there's dual molded. No, go back to the German <laughs> Shepherd. Look, the German <laughs> Shepherd is dual. That looks like it's not even a print. I think they actually just mixed in the black uh, with the brown. That's awesome. Uh, what's next? Triceratops is dope. Triceratops is so dope. We get more of those really good um, flexible. Uh, pieces for the for the fencing which is good because we ran out of those and yes no and yes <laughs> it's yes and no. dinosaur it's it's <laughs> stupid but it's awesome all it's right. so dumb all right it's jack so i gotta tell them the set numbers you have to, um <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Technical info. Sorry guys, we had to do that, the excitement was just too much, but anyway, here are the prices. The 75934 Dilophosaurus on the loose is 168 pieces for $20. Pretty good price, I gotta say, for that new mold and three minifigs. The 75935 Baryonyx Face of the Treasure Hunt is 434 pieces for $60. Again, excellent mold for that new dinosaur. The 75937 is getting finally a great mold for the Triceratops. That's uh, 447 pieces set for $60 as well. And finally, the T Rex versus Dino Mech Battle. That's set number 75938, 716 pieces, and the price tag is $90. And that mech with the nostalgia Jurassic World old green, lime green colors is just pure eye candy. As we are talking about the new upcoming sets, there was a leak for the Avengers Endgame Lego sets. For obvious reasons, I cannot point you to the um, links or any pictures of that, but three sets that were leaked are giving quite big hopes for what this wave will be. I like them very much and I really cannot wait for the official reveal so that we can talk about the pictures and uh, show the sets maybe in a review as soon as possible. Also, just a quick update on that uh, LEGO Movie 2 Brickhead situation, the packs that were available only at Walmart and Target, 5000 pieces each, they were limited. As Jack mentioned last week, they were uh, selling out pretty crazy and yes, at this point they are completely sold out and being way overpriced on eBay as we speak. But there is a rumor floating around that these will be normally available in any retail stores, probably including LEGO stores at some near point in the future. My assumption is that they will just not include the limited edition holographic sticker, but patience padawans, I think you will be able to get yours quite soon, because that's what happened before LEGO did some exclusive brick heads at some point, I think last year with the Marvel Infinity War, if I remember correctly. In the long run they did end up in the LEGO stores just a month later from the official release. So I wouldn't jump the ship and buy anything on eBay right now, I would just encourage you guys to wait and I think everybody will be able to get those briquettes at some point in the future. Because I mean, come on, those are like four major characters from the very popular movie right now and there is really no point from LEGO in limiting that small batch of four briquettes because literally everybody wants them. And speaking of the movie, the LEGO Movie 2 had a pretty slow opening weekend, the estimations fell short. The movie was 
estimated to earn over 50 55 million dollars on the opening box office and apparently it did only 31 to 33 million there are many articles on the internet stating or trying to assess the reasons behind that i think the movie is great our entire crew here at brickvault really enjoyed it i just think the main reason here is that the box office in general is pretty slower than the last years but also this is the fourth movie in the lego line and also trying to capture the attention of the audience after not so successful batman movies and also the ninja go that fallen quite short so it's not that bad movie after all it's just had a slower weekend because of those situations but if you guys still can i highly encourage you to check it out i think it's great fun the sets were great and the movie really connects with well with the audience and gets some really nice story going also the ninja go show is coming to its 100th episode that's gonna be a massive story arc as it was predicted before and there's a bunch of teaser graphics promoting the upcoming arc these are titled the march of the oni and i gotta say these are pretty dark uh, a lot of these have some quotes uh, connecting to something about the end or some massive changes in the characters in, in the show entirety and I believe that the upcoming episodes I think only four of them will be pretty much dark and may actually hint the end of the entire series as you know the Hageman brothers the creator of the Ninja Go series have left the show and now it's under the uh, management of Bragi Shat so does that mean that the show is ending we don't really know but a lot of these hints from these pictures slash posters give some sort of a vibe that it may actually be. Some people reported that these episodes are already available in New Zealand for example so if you watch the show and you want to comment something about it please refrain yourself from the spoilers I didn't watch it and I guess many people in the comments did not have so let's keep it spoiler free. There are a few more things I want to share with you guys today. There is a great story about the Justice Lag, it's a great name by the way, that helped rebuild the vandalized collection of a California teacher that had its uh, Lego broken back in November 2018. Back then an event happened when someone broke to the school and vandalized a lot of Lego donated by a local teacher and Mrs. Bassett, the teacher, reached out to different communities in the local Southern California district to ask for help in getting that thing back on its feet. Jack was contacted by her also and I was happy to direct her to the help of local luck communities and skip a few months later now we have a Brickset article stating the whole story and how a lot of luck members helped rebuild a collection of over a hundred lego sets. I love stories with happy ending like that and kudos to people who wish to just join together and help in a good cause and it just confirms that lego building people are the most awesome people on the planet. Also there is a Brickset article about the history of Technic pins. It may sound weird or boring but it's not. Check it out. It's quite short read and I have for example learned a few things. For example that the first Technic pin back in 1970 was actually metal. Also the small pod of the Sweet Mayhem Disco from the Lego Movie 2 is now available at the Lego stores. It's a $10 purchase. Lego Movie 2 video game is coming and there was the first DLC, a free DLC pack announced called the Prophecy Pack which introduces some of the characters from the first one. And the last quick bit of news is that the StarWars.com announced the Triple Force Friday for this year. It's gonna be taking place on the 4th of October and it's gonna include the launches for products based on Star Wars Episode 9, The Mandalorian Show, and also Jedi The Fallen Order video game. There is no word of course yet on what of part of that product will be based on Lego, but we can for sure expect sets for the episode 9 and hopefully the Mandalorian show, we will see. Alright and that's it for this week's news update, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did you can always leave a like below and subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell button for notifications for every single video that we do. Thank you so much for watching, check out our web store, links below, everything is there and I'll see you in the next one. It was Mike. And I'll see you next time on Brick Vault. Bye-bye.